The Environmental Protection Agency announced a new rule today to limit harmful chemicals in drinking water nationwide. As CBS 2's Joe Donlin tells us, the agency says the change will prevent thousands of deaths and serious illnesses. The EPA announced a new national drinking water standard to protect Americans from toxic chemical pollution. It'll prevent thousands of deaths, reduce tens of thousands of serious illnesses. The new EPA rule requires water systems to monitor, reduce, and report high levels of six of the most common and toxic chemicals known as PFAS or forever chemicals. PFAS are called forever chemicals because no one has been able to measure their half-life in the environment. They don't occur naturally, and so nature has not come up with a way of breaking them down. Exposure to high levels of these chemicals has been linked to cancers, liver and heart issues, and developmental issues for infants and children. You can't smell these chemicals, you can't taste them, you can't see them um, at levels that are dangerous to your health. So that's why these new rules are so important. There are about 15,000 different types of these human-made chemicals. They're used in everyday products, including food packaging, non-stick cookware, cosmetics, and other personal care products. The EPA estimates 6 to 10 percent of the 66,000 public drinking water systems in the country will likely need to make changes to meet the new standards. Joe Donlin, CBS 2 News. This is the first ever national legally enforceable drinking water standard. The EPA estimates it will reduce PFA exposure for approximately 100 million Americans. The EPA announced nearly $1 billion in funding to help states and territories meet the new standards.